The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to Exploring the Unknown. I'm Rebecca Williamson. And I'm Shay Carroll. Taking stories from today's news, we will explore everything from the paranormal, supernatural, the strange and unusual, unsolved mysteries, and more. Join us as we delve deep into the unknown and the mysterious. Taken from the headlines, water cooler chat with a paranormal twist. Be sure to join our Facebook group, Exploring the Unknown, with Rebecca and Shay. Welcome to the show. So what is the first topic we are going to talk about tonight? First of all, what show is this? <laughs> I know, what show is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is all new to me. I, I, I digress. I don't know what show I'm on. <laughs> well, this... I know, this is kind of strange, but this is Exploring the Unknown with Rebecca and Shay. All However, right. Shay is out. She's having surgery right now. So um, Shay is uh, taking a break and thought we would keep it going. And Darren has volunteered to be the guinea pig yes. uh, guest. <laughs> <host>. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who are not familiar with me, I'm from the Paranormal Bus Stop on PBR as well. Right. So I've got Darren Boss here uh, filling in for Shay while she recuperates. I'm going to uh, give it my best. <laughs> no, no promises. <laughs> I'm going to give you my best. <laughs> yeah, you, you got you to be a little snarky and uh, interrupt me when I'm reading Let's and uh, try, right try to keep me in line. <laughs> Oh, I can't measure up to Shay. <laughs> uh, yeah, who can? Who can? <laughs> okay, so I picked one that I think I think will be a good one for you, Darren. Um, this one is called uh, "This Terrifying Escape Room Near Toronto Traps You in a Haunted House with Annabelle." Oh, right away you got hit me with Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I hate dolls. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> the, the whole the whole haunted object thing. I, in um, fact, I was just talking to somebody about trying to maybe put a REM pod inside of an Annabelle doll. <laughs> oh, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I said I gave him an idea. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> uh, this, this is on narcity.com, um, and it was published April 16th, 2018. Okay. Uh, one of the most terrifying escape rooms in the GTA. I don't know what GTA is. Grand Theft Auto, maybe? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, has you spending some quality time with a famous haunted doll, Annabelle. Known primarily for her appearances in the Conjuring series, <laughs> Annabelle isn't the real doll that appeared in the movie, but I mean... Uh... No, no, I don't think so. Not, not in a real movie. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, a Annabelle is based off of a real doll that reportedly caused horrific hauntings on a family in the 1970s. Okay. Paranormal researchers Ed and Lorraine Warren investigated the family's home and concluded that a demon was attached to the doll, and it was searching for a human soul to possess. Before that could happen, the Warrens took the doll with them and put it in a locked case, where it remains until this day. The lock case seems to have stopped Annabelle from moving around, but there's still a dark energy that surrounds it just waiting to be released again. Makes sense. Uh, uh, Mark Ham, Ontario, an entertainment company by the name of Mr. Escape, has created an escape room themed entirely to the Annabelle story. The game traps you in a room with Annabelle, and it's up to you and your friends to find an exorcist ring. 
<laughs> an exorcist ring that will get you out to safety. It's a whole lot of adrenaline pumping fun, but beware this room is not for the faint of heart. An exorcist ring? What am I missing? I haven't watched the Conjuring movie, so I don't. I, I, but maybe I don't understand because I, I thought it was I a priest. I didn't realize it was like a, a, a fancy. This is what for uh, demon duology. I, du I didn't du realize du it was just like a, a a cracker jack ring that to exercise exercise demons. Is that is that it? Is it a cracker jack ring? I mean, uh, that that that's a new one on me. <laughs> that, yeah, that's a new one on me. I I I never heard that before. And like I said, that the guys that do demon demonology would know about that. Shit! Now that gives me an idea to ask him a question on that one. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, groups of from four to ten people are able to participate in the game. The room utilizes a bunch of tech props to make the experience even more realistic. Oh boy! Uh, mm. The game also has a success rate of thirty percent, so you and your friends will have to put all your wit and skills together in order to complete the mission. So. Uh, seventy percent of the people are possessed by Annabelle. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you dare take on this mission? Dun, dun, dun. I'm yes, I trying, would. I'm trying to find a picture. Are they using like the Conjuring Annabelle looking doll or the real Annabelle looking doll? Well, see, now with the Conjuring, they made that kind of more like a porcelain kind of type doll. Now, the yeah. real doll is, is real not, doll, a, not a porcelain doll. Yeah, the real doll is a raggedy Ann. Ann. Yeah. Um, I actually kind of got one sitting in the back here in the corner here of a doll that my wife picked up at a, um, what do you call those, uh, old-timey uh, antique stores. No, oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I... I I yeah. had one. I had a Raggedy Ann. Yeah. She never did nothing. The, I don't know. Maybe what she it, possessed me and I just didn't even know. I don't know. That didn't come up with the right spell, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, I, maybe one of the rings I wear. I had a strawberry shortcake ring, so maybe that was what protected me. I don't know. Yeah, well, the only ring I know is a lollipop ring. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what kind of sugar can you get out of that one to make it haunted? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think this is kind of like basically. Uh, I I would I would actually test that escape room really to see how accurate he is on some of this stuff. Personally. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I wonder what kind of effects they've got going on. If they're just basically trying to say, you know. Um, it's demons. It's all demons. Like I got Zach Baggins running around in the background screaming. Maybe I don't know. Uh, you know, if they get the right person in there to probably <laughs> do something while they're in there, saying, "Hey, I'm going to pay for this to go in and do this," and all of a sudden they go in there and do all sorts of, you know, crap in there. Mm -hmm. Then I could see it could be haunted. You might get possessed with something. I don't know. I never been possessed. I. Maybe seen one or two people <laughs> that have that. Well, I think I think the goal is not to get possessed. I think you're actually technically supposed to escape, but I don't know where did they come up with this number? Like only thirty percent escape. I don't. I mean, I'm just maybe not a f familiar with escape rooms to know how. Well, escape rooms will really have a lot of different activities you gotta find. Like you gotta find a key to open this, and then once you open this, it comes up the a sheet right. here. You go press a button here to move this item to go to this side. It's a whole kind of type deal yeah. like that. Yeah, but isn't the goal to get out? I mean, if if you never get out, then how do you win? And I don't understand. I guess I just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, they're they're expensive though too. I mean, mm. Milwaukee's got one, and they they charge a hundred bucks to get in. Oh, geez. Yeah, so I can only imagine up in Toronto, it's probably double the price. Oh, probably. Yeah, and I don't. I seriously doubt it's the real Annabelle. I mean, I know they're like farming her out and taking her different places now, but yeah, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think they'd throw in her an escape room. <laughs> I I got a a comic book store here in town. It's got like a prop one. 
Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's I've massive. seen crop. It's huge. Yeah, it's a big doll. It is the mm-hmm. real one. And I've seen I've seen like some prop ones and stuff, but no, the, the real Annabelle, they're like taking her places now. Throwing her on yeah. a plane and yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't, I don't think so I, I'm not 100% sure I really buy into the whole demon possessed doll thing. I mean, I I think that she could definitely be a haunted object, 100%. But the whole right. demon possession, I'm not I'm not sold on demon possession of a doll. But yeah, that that's a hard one. It really yeah. is. And it's so hard to know because you know, um, you know, we weren't part of the original investigation, and they neutralized the doll so yeah know. but you know if you see some things like a uh, person who may not be said here um they got a whole like of a mitts to hold this thing mm-hmm. so you can't touch it with your bare hands because if you touch it with your bare hands you're going to get affected right right i mean i i don't know that, that you could really prove the demon possession at this point i mean is it just gonna just say i don't i just i don't know i'm not i'm not 100 sold on it i think a lot of the ed and lorraine warren stories have been hollywoodized <laughs> you oh know? well yeah yeah and and made a made them out to be creepier than they really are and i, I don't know i mean that, not i like it makes for a good story it makes it for does. a really good it story does. It's also one of those things that you really got to uh, see it in person. Yeah, exactly. Determine the ones that you, I can't investigate on my own, That's that's those are the ones where I'm just kind of like, ah, did it really happen? And if I can't, if you can't go in and repeat the investigation, mm-hmm. then that kind of like, I don't know, kind of reduces the credibility for, for me personally. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, I don't know how everybody else feels about that, but for me personally, you know, if you can't go in and repeat it, then I might have a problem going to the Conjuring House by myself. I might, mm. because it really, I, I don't want to see a witch to start to run at me. <laughs> but uh, if if all that has to do with all that stuff, and they put a doll in her, is it any doll gonna be possessed in that? house then you know at what point yeah. do you say how far do you go with that right and and that's an interesting point too is like where did the doll pick up the possession and was it in that house or i mean was it at the factory <laughs> i mean yeah. i mean what, I the don't know. Mo- what the movies show is that uh, the the husband and wife the husband gave her this doll and the uh, lady came in and attacked him and took the doll and stabbed and killed herself in the bathroom and um, the blood seeped into this doll to make it be a possessed doll then. Uh, okay, so, God. Uh, I, I'm at a disadvantage since I don't watch those type of scary movies. Yeah, I, so that's kind of how <laughs> that all got portrayed yeah. and yeah, yeah. If if for those of you who don't know, Becca only does real ghosts. Not fake ghosts. <laughs> I I watch a lot of stuff, but I also do the real thing. <laughs> See, I can't do the fake ones. The fake ones freak me out. I, I a real ghost is no problem. The fake ghosts totally freak me out, and I can't do it. So I don't watch. I don't watch horror stuff. <laughs> I, I know it doesn't house. make a lot of sense. I never make a lot of sense. But, yeah, right. <laughs> well, that, that's all right, though. Not a lot of people do watch that stuff. I know lots of people who don't watch horror stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, everybody else seems to like everybody else. Like in the ghost field, they're all like into the horror stuff, and I'm just like, eh, I can't do a jump scare. Kindergarten <laughs> cops about as scary as I get. Oh boy! And yeah, I screamed out loud in the movie theater during you kindergarten. Got a cops. Long way to go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I see the like the the cloth doll spin its head, <laughs> then I'm gonna be like, okay, what? I don't know. What? I don't know how I deal with that in person. I don't know. I, I don't either. Think what you think of the pull right off the stupid head uh, shoulders. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Now I can see furniture being haunted and possessed. 
It, yeah, I mean, I, I can I can actually see like some dolls being possessed because like some of the older ceramic dolls um, are, are made with real human hair. To do it. Yeah, they're made with real human hair, so that totally totally has um, yeah. Some of those are were made with the hair of children after they died. So oh, I mean that that right there just says haunted to me. Um, but then too, like you, if you think about a child who held on to a doll all the time and was like carrying the doll around and stuff, right. and then if they pass away, then their spirit could be attached to the doll. Total. Uh, yeah. I could see that haunted dolls. Haunted dolls totally makes sense to me. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just, but the brand the, new the brand new ones are kind of like, I don't know. That's where I start going, eh, if you just pulled it out of the package, where where did the attachment occur? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the cloth ones, I don't know. It's hard. I guess if the mm-hmm. blood seeps in, maybe. I don't know. And then you do uh, some magic around with the thing in the hmm. that's where it gets me. But yeah, I agree with the with you. I mean, with those the newer dolls, the porcelain dolls, I could see it be more easier to do so with the how people get so attached to them. Yeah. Uh, same As thing a, with adult, adult with that, that somebody's carrying around, you know, it's the same principle of like a residual haunting where, you know, the energy build up and, and that type of stuff. And yeah. I, well, let me ask yeah. you this. So, you know, a little girl carry a doll around. Mm-hmm. What about uh, a child that carries a blanket around with them all the time? Like yeah. keep safe. Do you think a blanket yeah. could be haunted? Uh, yeah, I do. I think a blanket could be haunted. If we're talking about a chair being haunted, I think a blanket could be haunted too. Clothes, um, like wedding dresses and stuff like that, I think they could be haunted. Yeah, especially if they died. I, th- them. I yeah, I was gonna say I read a story about a, like a a wedding dress that was haunted that. She was she bought or I can't remember the story. Something about it. She bought it and then um the wedding wasn't able to take place for unknown reasons. I can't remember. And mm. yeah. But, yeah but also there's a wise tale in Wisconsin here. Yeah. There's a bridge. <laughs> yeah. It, it might have been it might have been like one of those urban legend stories, but you know, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting off topic. <laughs> yeah, a little off topic anyway. All right. So Darren, you want to tell people who you are and like where they can find you? Sure. So my name is Darren Buss. Uh, I'm part of Paranormal Buzz Radio with the Paranormal Bus Stop. I also do YouTube videos on the MGS Paranormal page. Um, I also do the Freaky Squeaky Friday show with Cynthia Gerodius. Um, let's see. I do a lot of albums, so I'm sorry. Yeah, check out Darren's YouTube. I interviewed on there, so you can hear me talk all about Cambria yes. on Darren's YouTube yes. channel. So, uh, and of course, I'm Cambry pretty much everywhere. So, Cambry, 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 Cambry house.com, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> yep, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, you know, under Darren Bus or uh, MGS Paranormal. There's two pages for the MGS Paranormal on Facebook, so you go to either one, it's fine. Uh, and then the YouTube channel. Yep. Awesome. So. All right. Well, thanks, Darren. Thanks for uh, being my guinea pig co-host. Sure. Um. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Raw emotions. Fun. I told you, raw emotions. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Good night, all. <laughs>